Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, use of aromatic substitution reactions in synthesis, uh, focusing on what I call order of events. So many aromatic synthesis problems might look on the surface relatively simple. Uh, and so I have an example here where we're making metabromo uh, acetophenone from benzene. You know, given that, at least in the electrophilic aromatic substitution world, there aren't that many combinations of things. There are only five overall reactions. It's pretty easy at the get-go to suggest what you need to do to add a particular reagent or a particular functional group. So, for example, uh, the acetyl group in acetophenone can be added by reacting uh, benzene with acetyl chloride and aluminum trichloride. The bromo can be added by reacting benzene with, with bromine and FeBr3. Where the challenge comes in is in determining whether or what the correct order of events are. I could write out As, as a synthesis pathway, we're going to do um, the bromination. Do the bromination first. Actually, let's, let's put it on the top one here. Put the bromination first, and we're going to do the you know, Friedel Crafts reaction second. Or you know, I can swap that around. We'll do the Frito Crafts reaction first and the bromination second. And fortunately, we have the ability to uh, figure out which of these two processes is going to work. Uh, it's going to give us that product. Um, one of the things you can do so you can kind of brute force your way through these by doing the first, you know, drawing the product of the first reaction and then determining whether the second reaction generates the desired target compound. And so I'm going to do that. Or at least I'm going to start down that pathway. So bromination of benzene yields bromobenzene. Uh, the Frito Crafts reaction yields acetophenone, and then there's the question of whether the next reaction does what we want it to. And in this case now, we look at the substituents and we see, oh, bromine is an ortho para director. Acetophenone is a meta director. So, oh. The Friedel Crafts reaction is already a little bit iffy on the, the uh, electron or on the, the deactivated ring, but bromine's not, a, um, not really all that deactivated. So even if we assume that this reaction is going to happen, it's going to form 4 bromo acetophenone and not uh, the product that we want. But because acetophenone is the meta director, Acetophenone will react with and under bromination conditions with bromine meta. We could have done this analysis before we started drawing out any of these pathways. We could have said, oh, uh, what do I have on my ring? I have a meta director. I have an ortho para director. And the two functional groups that are present are uh, meta to each other. what that means since we have those two functional groups meta to each other I might want to put the meta director on first and the ortho para director on second so this first first one is the way to go Roll box but let's just All right. All right. here's another example uh, on converting benzene into paranitrophenol. 
And in this case, you know, you can analyze, I've got an ortho para director. I've got a meta director. These things are para to each other. So we want the OH on there first, but we also know we can't put the OH group on first directly because there's no electrophile that does that. So uh, since I have a para arrangement, just to summarize again, para arrangement I'm going to get the OP director on first. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how what what can be turned into that uh, hydroxy group. Well, uh, one of the best ways to, to put on the hydroxy group is through a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction. And so let's do that. So if we first chlorinate the ring, and then that chlorinated ring can react with sodium hydroxide and water under appropriate conditions, followed by acidic workup, you get phenol. And then you can nitrate phenol. and get paranitrophenol. Now, I do want to, since this video is about order of, of events, what happens if we change the order of events? Well, if the chlorination wasn't first, uh, if we did, say, nitration first, we'd get the chlorine in the meta position and we'd get, we wouldn't get the para arrangement we wanted. So, let's... So chlorination needs to be first. But let me just draw that. What the? Let's draw that outcome here. And then, um, so then if we did chlorination on nitrobenzene, we wouldn't get the, uh, follow, followed by nucleophilic aromatic substitution, we wouldn't get uh, the chlorine we wouldn't get chlorine where we wanted it, we'd get chlorine meta and we would get OH meta and actually this wouldn't even be as well controlled a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction because it's not ortho para to a to an electron withdrawing group, so it would be messier overall. There is, uh, you know, so we can't we can't put sodium hydroxide first because there's no leaving group. So these are the two cases for for first, and we we know that this one is is not going to work out. Would the result of the reaction be any different if we? Um, I feel I feel sort of compelled to put in the the aqueous workup step. So, so hold on. Okay. Here we go. Well, what if we did uh, the first one as shown, but what if we swap the order of the nitration and the, the nucleophilic aromatic substitution? Would we get a different outcome if we did it that way? Let me fill in these reactions here. So chlorine is uh, an ortho para director. So we would expect to get uh, more para nitro than, than ortho nitro. And then it turns out that we would still expect four chloro nitro benzene to react with sodium hydroxide and water to generate four nitrophenol. So sometimes we can switch around the order of reactions and still get the same product. Sometimes we can't. Um, but generally this analysis where we look at the substituents and the arrangement on the ring and make a guess at what we want to do first. And sometimes the sequence of events matters and sometimes it doesn't.
In the next video, I'm going to work through some more complicated examples. Thank you for watching.